GN is the abbreviation for gumelonephritis. It's a long word, but in essence, these are the group of diseases which affect the kidney. GN is a condition which affects the filters in the kidney, and these filters can either get inflamed acutely, and in that case, it starts spilling the blood and the protein in the urine, or there is a slow process in which the kidney filters can get scarred and the waste products cannot get out of the uh, body and they start accumulating in the body and have negative health effects. The symptoms which make someone seek medical attention is generally swelling of the legs, sudden weight gain, patients noticing foaming of the urine, that the uh, urine is very bubbly, that is indication that there is protein. Blood pressure suddenly is spiking up, uh, having a new rash with having the bubbly or this foamy urine. Those will be some of the symptoms which uh, someone uh, immediately contact the healthcare provider to see if they are developing inflammation in the kidney or gumelonephritis. The GN clinic uh, at Mayo Clinic is a multidisciplinary clinic of nephrologists with, who are the kidney specialists. The, uh, nephropathologists who are the pathologists specializing in kidney disorders, uh, radiologists, we have the help from the nutritionist, and the immune system doctors, the rheumatologists. So when a patient is referred to us or a patient calls us with the symptoms which look like they may have GN, they are immediately seen by the nephrologist. The patient is evaluated to see if we can determine the cause of GN by the blood and the urine test or whether someone needs a kidney biopsy. Then the biopsy is done promptly so we can get to the diagnosis and the cause for gumelonephritis and then tailor the treatment specific for that patient. Sometimes we are able to offer certain research trials which are the cutting edge treatment for the patients with uh, gumelonephritis. So the autoimmune disorders are generally lifelong disorders. So you have to manage them, control them. Sometimes they go into complete remission and the patients may not have the symptoms for many, many years and then they may start doing, uh, coming up with the symptoms. So those patients need to be long-term monitored uh, for uh, relapse or making sure that the kidney function is stable. The other thing I would like to point out is that once the damage has happened to the kidney, that damage is generally not reversible in most of the cases. So the key thing is avoiding further damage to the kidney and maintaining the kidney function so a patient can have adequate uh, lifestyle and the health status. These GN conditions can lead to kidney failure, especially if they're not diagnosed early or the treatment fails to control the inflammation, the kidney function can progressively decline and patient may need dialysis or kidney transplantation. And some of these conditions can recur in the transplant. So having a transplant at a center where there are expertise for the GN is critical.